Caution, spoilers ahead. Viva Las Vegas. The Masked Singer got fans into a Sin City mindset on Wednesday with an all-new Vegas night-themed episode. To celebrate the occasion, the show welcomed a very special guest panelist, Donny Osmond. The celebrated entertainer is no stranger to the show, as he made it to the finals in the show's first season, performing at the Peacock. Tonight's episode, hosted by Nick Cannon and overseen by stalwart panelists Robin Thicke, Ken Jeong, Jenny McCarthy and Nicole Scherzinger, saw two new singers face off against last week's champion, The Harp, for a chance to make it to the next round of the heated competition. Before the musical numbers could commence, fans got the chance to see who was under the hummingbird costume, which is the cliffhanger the premiere closed out on last week. Well, after all the final guesses were made, the hummingbird revealed himself to be none other than NSYNC's Chris Kirkpatrick. This has been so much fun. He marveled as the audience roared. I was nervous, but this has been absolutely amazing. The first new costumed contestant of the evening was Panther, a stunningly regal, royal blue panther with a flowing cape and ornate headdress. Whoever Panther is, he can really sing, and he belts out a rendition of Feeling Good by Nina Simone that blows the panel away. I thought that was a really soulful, beautiful performance, Scherzinger marveled. That tone is so beautiful and so mysterious. Next up was Pirate, a pirate rat, complete with an eye patch and a treasure chest on his arm with another little white mouse inside it. Pirate is clearly not a professional singer, Pirat makes up for it with a high-energy performance and a song choice that is a good option for someone who wants to show off their personality more than their vocal chops, Crocodile Rock by Elton John. Finally, the harp, who was crowned the episode winner last week, returned to the stage in an effort to stay in the game yet another week. The harp tugged on some heartstrings and brought tears to many eyes with her jaw-dropping cover of I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston, and she hit the high notes with ease. I mean, what a gift though, to be able to just stand there in your source-given gift from God and belt out a song like that. But not only belt it out. Your soul comes right through, and we all felt it, McCarthy gushed. My heart exploded. My chills were huge. And let me add, girl, you are gonna wear that crown straight to the semi-finals, Scherzinger added. It is gonna be so hard to dethrone you. After all three singers belted their hearts out. It was time for the audience to vote on who should move on to the next round. The lowest vote getter turned out to be Pirat. Osmond suggested it was comedian Jeff Dunham, while Ken Jeong guessed it was Robert Smigel. Scherzinger suggested it could be ventriloquist Terry Fader. Thick thought it was Dana Carvey and McCarthy rounded things out with Steve Carell, before switching her guest to Carrot Top. As it turns out, Osmond might be better at this game than any of the full-time panelists. The pirate was unmasked and was revealed to be Jeff Dunham. I've done a lot in my career, but I think it's peaking at this very moment, Dunham said with a laugh. You know, as a kid, I thought to myself, I want to entertain people in a big audience and have a great time, but I want to be a freaking rat. It was so much fun. And it was so much fun making everybody laugh. That's what I do, and I just appreciate everybody here. It was just awesome. With everything coming down to Panther and Harp, the show pitted the singers against one another in a final face-off before giving the panelists the ultimate decision of who wins and who takes it off. Panther stepped up first, and gave a totally different take on his musical talents with a fierce cover of Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild. After belting out his version of the first half of the tune, Harp took over and belted out her take on the second half of the iconic rock track, and blew the contest out of the water. After deliberating, the harp emerged victorious yet again, meaning she's now one step closer to the Golden Mask Trophy, and Panther was headed home. McCarthy had a surprising guess of Lamar Odom before Scherzinger guessed it could be Billy Porter. Robin Thicke thought it might be NBA star, and DWTS champ, Iman Shumpert, Jiang then convinced Donnie that it might be NBA star Andre Drummond, but Jiang himself suggested it was comedian Sam Richardson. Turns out, the panel was all wrong, as per usual. The Panther is actually multi-platinum singer Montel Jordan. Despite always guessing him for nearly every tall singer in weeks past, this week the panel totally forgot. And Jordan called the experience a highlight of my life. He also delighted the audience with a live, unmasked performance of his iconic hit This Is How We Do It which was actually one of the biggest highlights of the episode. 
The Masked Singer returns next Wednesday at 8 p.m. ET slash PT on Fox. Nick Cannon on welcoming baby number 8 and how his Masked Singer family reacted, exclusive, this video is unavailable because we were unable to load a message from our sponsors. If you are using ad blocking software, please disable it and reload the page. Colon.